Oh Joey's my God. got it Shannon right on the Shannon head. Johnson, <laughs> show us some sanity here. Everybody, both sides. First of all, I hate when you all agree. You know that. Um, so come on, because that's the reality of court. No, no but I, I listen. Court. I disagree. I keep, I keep saying this. Oh wait, she disagrees. She disagree. disagrees. Go for it, Janet. As a defense attorney, I want this in because you know what? She probably knows there's a camera in there. Most of my defendants know that they're being videotaped, and if she's behaving that erratically, I think that the doctor would have a field day with this and would say, look, this person does not have a full deck, and in fact, she's having this disassociative moment where she thinks it's appropriate to stand on her head. That That's great for the defense. People do okay. everything. People do everything when they're alone in a room. If she's singing, it doesn't prove any material fact in this case. That's the problem. I don't know Guilty. about that. I think that Janet Johnson hit the nail on the head. I think if the prosecution didn't introduce it, then the defense should introduce it. It's the same thing with the sex tape. You know, it's like Rashomon. You read into whatever you want to read into it. But let's bring in the shrink, because we need one today, for you guys, as well as to analyze this tape. Jeff Gardier, clinical psychologist, what does this tell you about Jody Arias's state of mind? It tells me what I've been saying on your program for the past few months, that this is a young woman who is not insane by the legal definition, but is severely emotionally disturbed. Uh, she is a histrionic personality disorder, uses her sexuality uh, in order to uh, uh, manifest a lot of her aggression. And what I saw was a perfect example of a dissociative state, someone who's being totally inappropriate and regressing while they're facing something that is incredibly traumatic about to be arrested knowing that they are going to jail for a long long time and possibly facing a death sentence well you're giving me the idea that maybe the defense shouldn't use this because they brought on this defense Absolutely. psychologist dr richard samuels who said that um he's using phrases like transient global amnesia which i wonder honestly that sounds to me like you know, a transient who doesn't know what city they're in. What is transient global amnesia? And this doctor went on to explain to the defense that Jody went into a fog state of mind while brutally killing Travis. So let's try to figure out what does he mean when he says transient global amnesia? Here are the things that can cause that sudden immersion in cold or hot water physical exertion, emotional or psychological stress, pain, medical procedures, sexual intercourse. So you don't have to be in a, in, in a horrible situation, but an everyday situation, and you're still prone to having this transient global amnesia. So, uh, Janet Johnson, since I think you've made the most sense on this panel so far. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Given that the defense has brought on an expert to argue that she suffered from transient global amnesia and that that means she did go into a fog after killing Travis Alexander because, he says, she had post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, wouldn't the defense want to introduce this video to show that this is part of her PTSD? Yeah, I, that's why I'm baffled by why they wouldn't want this out. You know, right now the jury, unless they're watching your show, aren't going to see it. But yeah, I mean, I think that this is somebody who's in and out of reality, in and out of, you know, she's singing a song when the police are about to arrest her and talking about makeup. That goes to, I don't know what I'm dealing with. That's why I've made up all these lies. And I thought that the doctor did a great job explaining why her stories were so inconsistent. I mean, this would play right into that defense. Yeah, and on the other side of the break, uh, we're going to play the song by Dido that uh, Jody Arias was singing in the interrogation room right before she gets arrested because the lyrics are creepy. I love Dido, I love the song, but her singing them in the context of what's happening to her is creepy. Okay, we're just getting started. Tons more to debate. We're taking your